Hello everybody, and today we're reviewing Ninja Turtles, and this episode being In Dreams. So this is our first and, I guess, only appearance of the Dream Beavers. So if you don't know what the Dream Beavers are, they are beavers that uh, can infiltrate anyone's dreams if they fall asleep. This episode reminds me of the Justice League episode where uh, this mere master looking dude... Well, no, he's like a... I forget what he's called. He's He has like a skull and like he if he causes the Justice League to fall asleep and have weird dreams while Batman is doing his best to stay awake. That's, this is what this episode reminds me of. That's a good episode, by the way. And this episode, I actually really like because how creative it is with the Dream Beavers. Like, they all kind of are like uh, horror villains. They could be. But this is more of like a Halloween-ish episode. And since this is the month of October, we can consider this a Halloween review. So it opens with uh, Donnie running around New York. But he's getting chased by uh, what looks like the Dark Beaver. By the way, these beavers all have names. And he's just seeing a bunch of Dark Beaver just running around and and, and like chasing him. And Donnie is just afraid but that's where the episode opens with uh, Leo, who's getting better. I thought that was nice. Like, Leo is slowly healing from his wounds from Shredder. But he still has that ache pain where he has a leg pain. Or he can't exactly fight too much or it will hurt his ankle. And Raph still believes in Leo's getting a lot better. But apparently Leo fell asleep. And the turtles are discussing just falling asleep while April and Casey go out to go look for some food at this one shop. And Leo ends up falling asleep, like I said, and uh, we we first think he isn't asleep. But he is then met with the Dre Beaver. I don't know how to say, if I said his name right, but he's like the purple beaver. And... Leo first thinks he has superpowers. His leg is healed because he sees this giant meteor just falls in the ground. And he touches it and then his leg is just magically healed. And he's able to just kick trees, run around, fly, jump across tree branches. Like Leo is charged up and ready. But it turns out this is a dream. Leo has been falling asleep. And now he's stuck with this dream beaver. And as for uh, Raph, I forget the orange one's name. Uh, I think his name is Dave. Wait, no, that's the blue one. I'll call him Orange Beaver for this video. But uh, Raph, he's more in like some Freddy Krueger like nightmare world. And he has to like fight this beaver. But he is trapped by a bunch of snakes, fire. It's all creepy stuff and Mikey's dream while well, he's in some La La Land with Dave Beaver who's blue and uh, he is going to he's just having fun because that's Mikey for you and they're just paddling with candies and the candies look creepy and Mikey is somehow just cool with this world until he gets bored but meanwhile April comes back home and realizes what has happened the turtles have fallen asleep and they're starting to lose their pulse because they're in this dreamlike world. But before, during, when April and Casey were at the store, they encountered some what looked like a creepy older man. And he had this special box Casey found while looking for food. And that becomes relevant later in the plot where Casey goes back to the store with the old man. And apparently it turns out this old man actually knows what's going on. It, he knows about the dream beavers that have taken over the turtles' uh, dreams. Apparently they can only contact humans, but I guess now mutant turtles, since uh, I, the, the dream beavers reveal that they, they seem more tasty or something. And it turns out this man, the store owner, is actually was actually a physicist... And he was trying to discover what causes dreams to happen. But an experiment went wrong. And 
That's where it created the Dream Beavers, and he locked them away at the last second. And because their power is too dangerous, he had to flee and quit his job as a physicist. And he now hides the Dream Beavers. And the only way to f- stop them is to, I guess, free them from the book. And that's what Casey does. After getting into a fight with him with his crazy chainsaw. I almost thought this man was crazy, but... Uh, Apparently, it turns out he hasn't slept in 40 years. He just kind of whacked his brain, I guess. Yeah, this this episode kind of teaches you that you need your sleep. Now, I'm the one who stays up late myself, but I don't stay up too late. But I try to get good enough sleep. But anyway, the turtles are facing their nightmares. And eventually, they all, all four of them are together. And that's where the, the dream beavers all come together. And honestly, the designs of the Dream Beavers, they actually look really cool. They actually represent each color of the turtles. Even though various of them just mean different turtles. Like, like, and their powers are cool. And the fun fact, the Dream Beavers are actually voiced by Freddy Krueger himself. If you look it up on INDB. So that's really cool. It's It's a nice, like, horror reunion, I guess. And so the turtles are having to fight the dream beavers. And April does use her psychic powers to try to tell him it's all a dream. But uh, Casey gets the old man with the with the book and is like, "Save my friends." He's like, "I can't." He say, like, but then Casey decides to destroy the book, which wakes the turtles up. Thank goodness, because they were about to get the most disturbing part is when. The turtles are about to fall into this um, this like oven of fire, and like they're burning various turtle shells. Like it's disturbing. And Donnie almost falls in, but thank goodness they woke up because they almost died in their sleep. And then the Dream Beavers are unleashed, and it turns out they're not really a threat. They're they're very guinea pig looking. And then the sign, this guy, the food, the old man, he's like, I've wasted 40 years for this. And then he finally falls asleep and is taken home. And that's the episode. So the Dream Beavers episode is really fun. Just a simple episode. I know these other episodes have been kind of meh. But uh, this episode, I definitely tolerate. The next few episodes, that's where the show gets a little bizarre. With the speed, we're finally getting answers about the speed demon episode. I can't wait to review that. And we're heading closer to the end of the farmhouse arc of this show. But anyway, I probably give this episode probably a seven out of ten. So uh, that being said, thanks for watching and turtle power.